Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, welcome to your uh, love bonus. Um, Pisces, I already said my prayer, Pisces, so uh, we can actually just get started. I want to thank you all. We have here legal matters, justice, divorce, balance, and judgment. I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, for donating to the channel. We have your storm warning. So major changes feels like you're going through right now, Pisces. Possibly coming out of some kind of a toxic connection or attraction or attachment here, okay? Or uh, some kind of addictions, yeah. Uh, so beautiful so far. But back to what I was saying, I want to thank you all so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, for donating to the channel, for sending decks, for scheduling personal readings with me. Please take only what resonates and leave the rest for others, okay? It's a lot of you guys. Use your intuition and your discernment. Don't try to make it fit. It will be confusing to you. If it's confusing to you, that's not your message. Or maybe it's just not resonating right now. Don't be sure to check out your other placements as well. Uh, I'm starting now to do the bonuses. So um, I already did Aquarius. I'm working my way up. So I'll be doing Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, you know, going in, the, going that way this time around. So, all right, Pisces, let's get your message for your bonus message when it comes to love. What is the message and the guidance for Pisces? And I want to thank you all again for um, contributing to our community. It helps our community to grow. Uh, when you like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know how this is resonating. It also uh, it's how we can support each other. When the message is able to reach more people, it's how you can support me, Pisces. So thank you so much. I have a Pisces rising. So we'll see if there's a message. Oh, I said we'll see. We have the player here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Pisces, what's going on in your love life spirit? What is the message for Pisces? We have finances here. That also came out in the Aquarius reading. But it came out down here. What else for Pisces when it comes to love? What is the message for Pisces? If you guys stick to the end, I'm going to pull a money message for you. Considering we have finances here. And um, a self-care message. And a real message from the person on your mind. The person you're dealing with that this message is about for you. Okay? What's the message for Pisces here? For love regarding their love life. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Okay, so we have a that came out here. So there's a secret crush. Butterflies. Secret crush. There could be an obsession here as well. An attachment. But it could you you could be going through something right now. There's a lot of signs and synchronicities that's guiding you, okay? Co nothing's a coincidence. Uh, message from the units, message from the universe and license plates, angel numbers, billboards, a song that pops up that's reminding you of someone special, um, a, a, a line in a movie, um, just reminders of them. You could be seeing their name, you know, um, you could be having dreams about them, things like that, okay? That's guiding you towards true love. So, all right, what else for Pisces? Um, I feel like this obsession and this addiction, some of you guys could be drinking or, you know, smoking or doing things to numb, to cope. Uh, there are other ways, healthier coping mechanisms that we have here, reconciliation. So we have here material things, work, you could be focusing on work, you could be having some financial issues right now, but you could also be receiving a lot of success as well. We're going to clarify these. So there's a reunion here with somebody. You could be listening to music. Music could be reminding you of them or you could be connecting with them through music. There's a second chance here. You're getting back together with somebody that you miss very much. What else here for Pisces? For love? And I have two more spirits. Healing, I love this. Wounds, improving. You could be wanting to mend and heal a relationship with somebody. Okay, making progress here. You are also healing yourself. And then we have relationship, commitment, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, and third party. You are so okay. It's looking like, it's looking like that's the anxiety here. You have a family with somebody, Pisces. But the signs and synchronicity is guiding you away. 
So you could be wanting to reconcile with somebody from your past and heal a relationship. This is a healing relationship, I heard. But you, there could be some... Uh, Inter you could be in a commitment with somebody else or the person you're dealing with is in a commitment with somebody else let me get one more here for Pisces regret there's some regrets M wrong choice mistake, guilt, apology there's boundaries now there's boundaries so it's not because this person played around they they acted like they were single perhaps or lied about that the soulmate of yours they were they were toxic in your life or I, i'm getting they were unsighted they weren't unawakened to the toxicity drama that they brought into your life okay they um they have their eye on you and they want to travel to you but i get that there's boundaries now okay so let's see you guys feel physical distance okay from each other this person wants a reconciliation with you clarify um finances here i heard wanting to spend money on you wanting to spoil you clarify finances here for pisces sun moon rising and venus We have the tower so you could have experienced some kind of an awakening or you're going through an awake some kind of loss your foundation was rocked here when it comes to your finances okay uh, there could be a change here in your finances as well so you're getting a t there you are you could have gotten a new job with this ace of pentacles okay and it's something that fulfills you here but i'm also getting again there is a uh, a crumbling in someone's life okay the tower comes comes in when it's time for us to move in a new direction somebody receives some kind of major revelation or epiphany or aha moment right or um their faulty foundation that they built is crumbling down or yours okay um this means that this foundation wasn't built from truth authenticity honesty um you know by one following their heart and intuition their soul they they were on the wrong in the wrong life on the wrong on the wrong path so the universe came in a divine intervention and put somebody on the right path okay there that's the what they're waking up to that's what they're waking up to here um this is you uh this pisces card but it feels like you want to you know leave something behind here it could be moving or transit you're in a transition you're thinking a lot about this leaving a, a you know a tough uh, one the six of swords is relief okay it's moving on moving forward moving to karma waters to more peaceful tranquil seas the full moon here which is your energy is is guiding you okay it's leaving the the, the past behind it's leaving the uh the emotional turmoil and and conflict and uh and moving to karma waters like somebody wants to make amends wants to apologize to you and um start over but are they available to do that right because we kept seeing what's under here this player energy it's like tell me about reconciliation that's their, your wish, their wish, it's a wish come true to come to come into union. Yeah, they have their eye on you uh, or you have your eye on somebody, okay? Um, feel free to reverse the roles. This is the king of wands. There's a lot of passion, a lot of desire. Somebody wants to take initiative, wants to take the leadership. They may have fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius here, okay? It's, it's their, they really want this really badly, this uh, reunion with you, okay? Yeah, that's all they think about. It's, this could be your twin flame with the 1111 card here. If this is not your, your, you know, this it feels like that with the his, the king here flame, their fire, their passion being ignited. 
I feel like this cup of love that's sent by, see the hand coming from the clouds? That's God's hands, okay? That's divine, divine love coming. This person is now seeing, they're awakened to it. They are also um, sitting here in this four cups energy, not feeling very fulfilled in their life, depressed, um, bored, apathy, discontent, not, you know, uh, this person is also hasn't been very open. They've been emotionally closed off and emotionally unavailable to it. Okay. They, they, um, they have a fear of rejection as well. Their ego is very sensitive and fragile to criticism and rejection. Okay. With this King of Wands energy here, but it feels like you're, you're going to have some kind of offer coming in here for a reunion, 11-11 uh, card there, okay? And um, whoever's in the feminine energy, he is in the Queen of Swords energy. Somebody has strong boundaries. Tell me here about this uh, reconcile. Okay. So somebody here, we have two cards of being single and independent, okay? Somebody hasn't let you go. They're having a hard time in their life right now. They're a little tired. They've been through some kind of a, again, they've been going through some kind of a battle here in their life, a change and a transition, okay? And um, this energy here of enjoying your life fully, being single, independent, you know, self-assured, uh, taking good care of your body, of yourself, self-made energy takes a long time to get into this energy of self-love and self-worth, very uh, physically independent and emotionally independent, right? That's what's attracting in um, what's meant for you, okay? That's what is is attracting in um, the right partner for you, okay? Your true love. So somebody here that is in this unfazed or unbothered energy, just being in the present moment, living their life fully and focusing on their own happiness, it, you're getting a reconciliation. There's a second chance with somebody here that you care about coming in. Okay. So this person is a secret crush. They could be watching you on the internet, right? And not tell you, right? You don't know that this person has their eye on you. Secret. There's the moon. Okay. It's a secret. It's a secret crush, secret feelings, hidden feelings from you. Tell me here about secret crush for Pisces. Wow, your secret crush. Wow, there's obsession here, by the way. Okay, he's obsessed with this new beginning here, having a new beginning with you. Okay, um, it feels like this person is in love with you. Yeah, they want a second chance. Okay, they see you as the empress. I feel like this person wants to you to be their wife, mother of their children. Um this person is going through a huge rebirth and a wake up call here. Okay. I feel, it feels like this person wants your forgiveness as well with the judgment card. They also want your nurturing, your sensuality with the Empress divine feminine energy. They're making plans right now. Uh, wow. So they, they see you, they want to plant the seed with you and nurture it, care for it, water it. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. They're out in the cold right now. They're dealing with some lack consciousness, victim consciousness, not feeling worthy. This is an abandonment wound, codependency wound, neglect wound, not feeling worthy, not feeling good enough, not feeling like you have enough. Okay. Being out in the cold, um, abandoned. So they're on the outside looking. That's what they're healing. It feels like so that they can feel the universe tends to serve us what we feel we deserve. As a matter of fact. Why don't we get that? I don't know why I put that deck away. I was I want to use that deck. So the second that you heal any kind of shame, guilt, regret, that's gonna raise your worth. When you forgive yourself, right? When you forgive yourself, your worth goes up. Your self-esteem goes up. Your confidence goes up. When you take better care of yourself, right? And you're not numbing, escaping, avoiding, and you are, you know, doing the actual healing work. Um, it, it also raises your value and your confidence. Okay. Somebody here is, could be, you know, they're thinking a lot about this feminine energy, whoever the feminine energy is watching, you know, and, um, go, doing some soul searching, introspecting, self-reflecting the feminine energy may have retreated as well. Um, there's a lot of healing that's taking place at this time. They see you as the golden, 
ticket, the golden opportunity, the golden coin, the golden egg, okay? They want the, to start this fresh new beginning with you. They want to come out of the cold. Uh, clarify healing for Pisces. King of Pentacles here. Yeah, want to take a leap of faith here to have a fresh start and a new beginning to heal with you. I feel like they want to, they have healing to do within themselves, but I feel like they want to do it together with you. Okay. Uh, they want to take a leap of faith. They want this fresh start. And they're, they're, this uh, King of Pentacles here is, is more of the grounded king, right? Successful, more mature. I feel like they are having some success in their career here. You know, um, they're, they're stable, they're grounded, they're loyal, devoted, sensual, nurturing, generous, kind, noble. Um, upright, right? Upright. This person, uh, has good intentions. Okay. When it comes to you, when it comes to, um, earth energy, they may have it in their chart, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Oh, there's the emperor Aries energy here. Wow. Yeah. This person here may be a father. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. They want, they want their happily ever after. That's their wish. That's their dream is to have a family with you here. Pisces. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm dropping everything. You completely emotionally fulfill them. Okay. This is uh, written in the stars. This is destiny and faded with the six of cups. This is a past life soulmate you have with somebody. This love is, you guys have roots and history. This love is pure and unconditional, okay? And you guys may have met when, when you were younger. It's It's been a journey that you've been on. Somebody has matured. Um, this is somebody that wants a, you know, to, to have a happy family where they are fulfilled emotionally. This is emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. This person may want to have children with you, okay? Um, yes. <laughs> Reconciling with your... Uh, Past life soulmate here. Clarify addiction, obsession. So this person is in the process of possibly traveling towards you if you guys are at a distance here, okay? But we have, again, because I feel with the world and the eight of wands both represent travel and we do have this travel card as well. They want to bridge the gap, the distance, right? Uh, with the world card, this person is closing out this um, cycle of karmic cycle okay of uh, attachments toxic attachments codependencies vices addictions and uh, so that they can come towards you here with communication okay and or travel right uh they see you as their completion uh they feel like a sense of belonging with you okay like whole they feel whole and complete when they're with you like a puzzle piece is perfect puzzle piece um this person has been thinking a lot about this. They've been tired. They've been healing. Okay. They've been juggling life's responsibilities. They're going back and forth on this decision here about you. Um, they could be life's uh, prioritizing life's responsibilities here. They're exhausted. They've, they've learned from the past. Okay. Here. And they're trying to rest and calm down their mind or you. Um, but I'm getting here. There's a huge completion of a cycle, so a new one can begin, a karmic cycle, an ending. When we reach the world, that's 21. That's the last, last card in the major arcana of, of, of the fool's journey. And then we start over at zero with the fool. So, beautiful. Let me get one here for regret. So this person, I guess what they regret here is you know, not putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into it, being in denial, not seeing it sooner, you know, um, or making the wrong choice, right, for themselves, because they weren't awakened or conscious to the connection, you know, they regret not investing, they regret not, you know, um, taking control, taking action, taking initiative, but again, it feels like, um, I heard spirits say, don't make your decisions based on, on guilt. It's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others here. Okay. So this person here wants now to, to make things right, to come in and, and put in the time, the energy, the effort. I feel like this has been building up for a while. I, with the six of cups, I feel like 
you've been on a very long journey with this person, okay? And they want to move. Again, they're obsessed with coming towards you, with moving towards you, with communicating here with this world card and uh, the, the Eight of Wands. I'm going to pull messages from this person. I'm going to pull guidance from you as well. And uh, again, from the self-care and the money, money, money oracle. So yeah, they're getting ready to take a leap of faith here. They want you back. And uh, I feel like this person is... Uh, Again, this 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 uh, king of king of pentacles is not really a risk taker. They take a long time to, you know, it's earth, but it looks like this is that important to them that they are willing to come out of their comfort zone here. Okay, for you, look, they they find you so smart. Your intellect really turns them on. You're so smart and I really enjoy our conversation. So they learn a lot from you. You guys learn a lot from each other. Okay. And uh, they're really impressed by you. I feel like this person has a huge crush on you. They put you on a pedestal or vice versa. What else here for that does this uh, person wants to say? I think you both feel that way about each other. That you both feel that you're both really smart. I think that you see each other. You don't see yourselves the way you guys see each other kind of thing. I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. So you might have been ghosted by this person or this person ghosted you. Your secret crush. You're so special. You're truly divine. I've never felt energy like yours before. I can't get enough. So they keep coming back. They keep coming back because you, you carry a lot of light, a lot of love, a lot of healing energy here. You, uh, you're like sunshine in this person's life. And, um, and they just love your energy. They just love being around you, okay? Let me get uh, guidance for you from this lover's. The lover's oracle. Yeah, you're manifesting a miracle right now. Feels like this person will reach out to you. All right, what's the guidance for Pisces when it comes to this love? Wow, that's a lot. Only time will tell. So release, let go of the expectations, the reins, right? Yeah, this person is healing here. There's a new beginning coming in for you and this person with the Fool card here. Um, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, the tower, a blessing will soon be revealed. I love that. And then you and them are both healing, okay? This is a very healing connection. I feel like this is a very 3D king that is going through their awakening right now. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Let me get you guys uh, a monology. Spirit, what is a guidance here for Pisces, please? We have don't let the past hold you back and believe in the impossible. Believe in the miracle, Pisces. Have faith here. Okay? That what's for you will be for you. And it won't pass you by. It's a very rare person, a very rare opportunity. Also is the believe in the impossible card. And then look, a time for healing. So you guys are healing. This person is, is healing right now. They're 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 trying. I feel like this King of King of Pentacles, right under the Five of Pentacles, they want to feel good enough for you here. And that's why they're working on themselves. Okay, we have don't let the past hold you back. This is somebody here that's being um guided and called to expand, to grow, to evolve, to come out of their comfort zone. To let the past go, to go in a new direction. That's to, you know to to expand, okay, in their life. And um, I got finding myself here, and you make me nervous. <laughs> that's because this person's in love. 
um, it was time for me. It was time to. It, it was time. I went within to find myself again. I need to figure out what I want in out of life. I need some space. I feel like you're giving this person space. You're in really good energy of just self love right now, loving yourself. You make me nervous just thinking about you. I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. Uh, I'm getting this person's inner child, right? Get uh, butter all the butterflies. It is a secret crush. Right, they feel all the butterflies around you. You know, um, it's very pure. It's very pure. It's very pure love. I love this. It's uh, they find you so special. It's like this person has you on a pedestal, but I do feel like it's important that they also put themselves on there and they see you as their equal. Okay, um, so don't let the past hold you back, Pisces. Okay, let's get here. Um, and also, God, beware of what you're projecting at the bottom of the deck for the qualities you admire in somebody. So there could be, again, some intimidation, right? A pedestal um, that you admire in one another, qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So what is a self-care message here for Pisces? Again, somebody could be drinking here, Pisces, okay? Or partying or something like that. Because I'm getting here alcohol and there's like a bunch of alcohol and stuff. Because somebody here may have some some wounds that they need to heal. That they could be trying to bypass with with drinking and, and smoking and whatever else people do to numb video games or binge watching stuff or eating. or uh, What's the self-care message for Pisces? They miss you, I heard. They miss you. Awakening. Yeah, I love that. And clear your energy. Very Yeah, coming out of denial. Denial. Denial to accept a situation. Denial to accept a situation. Unhealthy cycles or addictions. Yeah, this person is waking up. I felt that. A realization shift or a discovery. And uh, they're awakening to their feelings, to their love for you. Uh, and then we have clear your energy. You can use sage or Palo Santo or meditation. There's empath cleansing meditations, Pisces. Refuel, refuel your energy and reclaim your power. Spending time in nature to ground your energy is also a great way to cleanse. You can I post a bunch of meditations on the community board and in the description box to the readings that you can use to help you to cleanse your energy. There's an empath meditation by Pure Rasa. It's a really good one for you to call your energy back as well. Okay, so yeah, so somebody they're coming out of denial here. I love it. Let's get to your money message. Pisces, what is a message for Pisces when it comes to their money and career and finances? And the finances was the first card out. That could be something you could be working on rebuilding at this time, Pisces. If you had a tower moment, you could be focused on your, you know, on, um, Rebuilding one day at a time. I saw a more solid foundation to build, building a more solid foundation. I feel like this person wants Ace of Pentacles to build a solid foundation. I feel like you guys already have roots, but it's important that we take this pen when we're offered this pentacle. It's important that we take this pentacle here and we water it, we nurture it, we tend to it, we make the effort, we, we're consistent, right? Um, with it. So. Pisces, what is the, the guidance here for Pisces for money? Manifesting, you have all the tools you need to increase your income. Good fortune is coming soon. Well, that's good news. Unlocking, wow, nice. There's an Ace of Pentacles coming in and comfort here. And then we have odd jobs at the bottom of the deck. Consider creating multiple streams of income. A second job, add a job. Freedom is more important than financial security. Sometimes it's okay to have a transition job, even if it doesn't lead to your career. So we have manifesting. You have all the tools you need to create, to increase your income. Good fortune is coming soon. And an, an important, uh, an oppor sorry, an opportunity may come to you where you can showcase your talent. And then we have comfort. Comfort, 
though you are though you're not exactly rich you will be living comfortably comfortably well that's good you're entering the most comfortable period of your life well hooray to that let's claim that your finances are in a state of balance well good that's what i feel like you've been focused on or the person on your mind has been focused on we have unlocking what was locked can now be opened what was lost can now be opened you have opened the floodgates of abundance without limitations i love that blocks are there to tell you that you're steering off track so if you feel blocked it's because you're steering off track just follow your intuition pisces okay you're waking up you're clearing your energy that's probably why your abundance is increasing as well okay um Things are looking up. Things are looking better. You're, you're, I feel like with this addictions and the world card, you or this person is, you know, working on making healthier choices in love and in life. Okay. And now this person here is trying to figure out how they can work on this with you with the two of swords and the regret card. Right. Um, I feel also that they are working on themselves, but they're also in their head here with the two of swords stalemate energy here. Um, thinking of how they're going to make this work okay with you and want or uh in in the process of in, at a at a crossroads in the process of making a very important decision regarding having this fresh start and this new start with you i'm gonna leave it right here pisces thank you so much for being here i'll see you guys next time i love you all god bless you and namaste much love